of gossip and a lot of film magazine speculation. Do you mm -hmm. resent the intrusion of, into your privacy? As you said, these are, these are film magazines which have existed always along with the film industry and there's nothing that one can really, really do. Sadly, in, in our country there's with very little that you can do. Yeah, there's very little you can do in this country. So you've so got you take to live it in your life. Stride. You've got to live your life. Thankfully, I today am very appreciative of this, uh, this media where people get to listen to me as I speak and see me for who I am and I believe people can then very easily believe in people for who they are. A lot of the speculation is about that central question, when will she get married? Is marriage imminent? Uh, eventually in everyone's life, obviously it is, so it would be and when it does, I guess the world will know about it. Can I ask how far it. away is eventually? If only I knew how far away everything about life is. I mean, just like every other aspect, I really... But it's something you take in your stride. It's not something that you're determined to do just to keep everyone else happy and to keep the gossips at bay. No, it's, it's, it's all part of life. There's nothing that I've ever done pandering to or catering to in any aspect of my life. You know, last year, when the magazines were absolutely convinced that you were going to marry Salman, they gave you a really tough time. In fact, there was a moment when you fell down the stairs and they were convinced he'd beaten you up. Like they did when I fell down the stairs during Miss India, and they were convinced that's why I lost. <laughs> so, I mean, they, they always, people always have their reasons and they'll always create a story around it. But when I get that opportunity, I tell the truth as is, and then it's left to you to be. Can I ask you for the record, what happened when you fell down the stairs and why did they end up saying that Salman had beaten you instead? I don't know what to say about as to why, how can I answer as to why people claim or say what they do, but the fact is that I, I slipped, I actually passed out and I fell down the stairs outside my house and that's exactly what happened. And, um, it was exhaustion and nothing to do with Salman whatsoever? Obviously, I mean, yes, but then obviously you can't go around saying, oh, I'm so exhausted and I fainted because then you know what, then the industry would panic at that point in time and they turn around and say, you know, oh, is it overwork and is this what's happening? So you're, you're, you're saying a very fair. fair thing and one that I think many, many people would agree with. Do you find the media becoming more responsive and, and more responsible? Um, I mean, is this year factions, easier than last I, year? How much can the fact that I've never really pandered to and catered to the media all these years is because then it's this, it's this ridiculous pattern that follows where you are offering explanations for life that you don't need to. Sure. And when you're going to do this, the only reason I even spoke was because I felt genuinely someone else was being victimized unnecessarily. Our families were being roped in. My family, his family, people are being unnecessarily being put through pain and made a media spectacle out of for no rhyme or reason. It's a symbiotic relationship, the industry and the media. That's happened, one recognizes it. But you cannot cross barometers and turn around and character assassinate, whereby then you've got you know, um, groups, you've got bodies out there where they can make things sometimes communal. I mean, if you recognize the sensitivities of, of, of communities, of a country, you recognize sensitive issues, I think the media has a responsibility not to cross barometers, and they've done that, and they misquote people, they put words in people's mouths, which can become very, very grave, sensitive issues. And I think this is where, where I... I seek, I, I actually reach out and request the media to recognize their responsibility.